If you've got an old hunk of junk like this, then you're in luck. Like many of you, I don't have a couple hundred dollars to drop on an Elgato stream deck because I would like to classify myself as someone who's cheap as f or as Graham Stephan says, a financial minimalist. And that's why I wanna show you guys how I turned my crappy keyboard into something usable like an Elgato Stream Deck. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a quick like on the video and let's jump into it. So I've opened up my streaming software. You can use OBS Studio, Streamlabs, Twitch Studio. It doesn't matter because we're gonna be going into the settings and utilizing the hotkeys. But if you guys are wondering where I got this sweet overlay from with my starting soon screen, my just chatting live scene and all that good stuff, then we gotta check out today's sponsor, Owned.TV. Owned is honestly my favorite place to get anything for your stream design. They got hundreds of different overlays, alerts, panels, and all that good stuff. My favorite thing is definitely the stream design bestseller packages. So if we click on Synth Runner, you can see that this package literally comes with everything you're gonna need. It's got starting soon, pause, ending, offline screen, banners, you got panels for your streams, animated alerts, webcam overlays. And the best thing about it is that they give you the direct files so you can use it with OBS Studio, Streamlabs, or Twitch Studio, or whatever streaming software you use. So if you guys wanna spice up your stream, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you guys can get started. So to get started, we're gonna go to our settings. Then we'll go to our hotkeys tab. This is where all of the magic is gonna happen. We have all of these different actions that can happen through our hotkeys. So if we wanted to start streaming and we wanted to make a hotkey for it, we could click in this area and then we could press a key on our keyboard. So for instance, let's do backslash or forward slash. I'm actually not sure which one that is because I'm stupid. And then if we wanna do a different one for stop streaming, we could, or if we wanna toggle it, we could press the same exact one. So anytime we press this slash button, it'll start the stream. And if we press it again, then it'll end the stream. And if you wanted to use this, you'd hit apply and okay. But for this instance, we're gonna do something more simple. You can also do the same thing with recording and replay buffer. Replay buffer is actually really cool. I use it all the time. Basically, I press a button on my keyboard and then it records the last like 10 seconds to 60 seconds or however long you want it. And then I can upload those short clips to YouTube shorts or TikToks without having to scrub through hours of Twitch stream footage. And if you guys wanna learn how to use the replay buffer, you can watch the video in the top right corner. But if we scroll down, the thing that I use the most are honestly switching to scenes. I have number pad minus. So anytime I press the number pad minus, it'll go to the just chatting scene. And you can do this with each of your scenes. So if we go to switch to scene live scene, it'll be number pad asterisk. And then if we go to starting soon, we can make this one and I will do click here and then I'm gonna press number pad. So the number pad over here and I'm gonna click the plus button. And now we will click the apply button, hit okay. And so now I'll show you guys that we're not messing around. We're gonna hit the minus button on the number pad right here. So I'll press minus and then it's gonna automatically switch to our just chatting scene. And then I'm gonna press the number pad asterisk here. And then it's gonna switch to our live scene and then if I want to go back, we can press the number pad plus button like so, and it's going to bring us back to our starting soon screen. By the way, if you guys are using the actual numbers on the keypad and they're not working, make sure to have the number lock on or off. But for my Streamlabs OBS, which I show you guys right now, but I'll go to my settings and then I'll go to hotkeys. And then you can see I have my replay buffer set up there. And you can see my scene starting soon. If we scroll through, you can see all the different sources inside the scene and then switch the scene as number pad one. And so if I go to my IRL scene, my number pad is also scroll down. I have a lot of stuff here. Number pad four. You can see that I also do show BRB video and hide BRB video with different number pads because when I go to use the bathroom, instead of using a scene, I just use a media file with the video. So you can do a lot of stuff with this. But let's go back to OBS Studio. If you scroll down a little longer, you can see that you can do your desktop audio or your microphone. So if your microphone doesn't have a push to mute button like mine doesn't right now, then you can go and set a toggle mute button like this. So if I go and click here, we'll do toggle mute. Let's do, I don't know, the number three pad. And then I'm gonna do number three again to toggle it. So then I'll hit apply, I'll hit okay. And then you can see my microphone's picking up here. I'm gonna press three on the number pad. And now you can see it's muted. I'm gonna press three again, and now it's unmuted. But you can feel free to scroll through all of your different hotkeys because you can show and hide different things. Like if you wanted to show a picture on the screen as a meme or a video, like I did for my BRB video, you can do a lot of that stuff all through the usage of hotkeys and specifically using an old hunk of junk keyboard like myself. So watch this video to the side of me. It's gonna help you so much with your streaming journey. My my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.